Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I just got these delivered um, today and I wanted to do a review. Hopefully um, I'll be able to upload it soon. Um, but yeah, I already do have um, the Kawaii Tarot, but I, di I didn't want to include that because um, it's really very minimal and um, as you can see that this is exactly like this is Wheel of Fortune. That's the magician. That's the lovers. And back here we've got see how there's um, the there's pips for the miners. Um, so only the court cards and the majors are um, uh, images. It's a cute deck. Um, the guidebook here, and it's split in two, which a lot of readers don't like. I'm not keen on it myself in terms of being split. Um, but yeah. I don't mind this deck but I wanted to concentrate on these two first um, I mean if anyone wants me to do a review on the other one then I'll, I'll let me know and I will but yeah so I wanted to um, do an unboxing of these two um, so I'm going to get into it straight away I don't know how much time I'm going to have um, no. now they're from different creators but this is just saying it's from Ulysses Press and as you can see it's in a tuck box um yeah it doesn't say any um who the author or the um artist is with this this one um Raven from the Raven Seer Tarot channel she already reviewed this and I said I was getting this myself so Raven, I finally got around to um, doing a review on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one is illustrated by Lulu Mayo. Um, and who is it by? It says it's illustrated by Lulu Mayo. Um, Rock Point Publishing, I think it is. Um, yeah, so um, we'll. I'll just have a quick read if I can see it well enough. Um, because the, the camera isn't really great lately it's sort of not really clear um so anyway it says embark on a journey of self-discovery with the wonderful world of Ka Kauai um this is also Kauai as it says on the side here you might be able to see it says that it's a 78 card deck and guidebook of fun and Ka Kauai chibi characters so chibi I don't know if I'm saying that right so if I'm butchering the actual proper names I'm sorry um, so we'll get reading lovers of all things kawaii rejoice uh, kawaii taro is here the cute and cuddly creatures of this kit will introduce you to the major and minor arcana and common card spreads while helping you discover how to develop your intuition to interpret the, the cards messages and connect with your inner guidance system using well 78 card and guidebook that's what this bit says um then it says trust your inner wisdom amplify your intuition and dive deeper into your soul's purpose with this super cute and colorful all-in-one tarot kit um and i'll just read the back here this one's very quick it's oh, i don't know if you can see it <laughs> Um, unleash the intuitive power of tarot with these delightful, delightfully designed cards with fe featuring original chibi art based on the traditional Rider weight deck and accompanied by a handy guidebook. I'm not sure if because this is a tuck box, tuck box it might have a um, guide booklet. I'm not sure. But yeah, I was guided to do both. So I'm hoping I'm not going to be five hours with this, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I seem to have a bit of a history lately of having long videos so sorry guys but hopefully this won't be um, I'm not sure what order they'll all be in either so um, we'll find out <clears throat> yeah oh okay there's no guidebook by the looks or is there a guide card hang on no oh yeah there it is all right, so here's the backs. I mean, that's still 
cute there. Um, now we've got... All right, hopefully they're in the same order too. Now with the kawaii tarot, I'm not sure if it's picking it up. But it's got cute little images all over it. Sorry again if it's um not very clear. Okay, so hopefully they're um in the same order. I think I just said that, but anyway. <laughs> um all right, so we'll so they're both similar booklets. Okay, so we'll have a quick run through the, each of the guidebooks and see what's going on here. I'd say that they've probably got relatively small um, messages for each card. A, a very little history. I might actually read that. I'll just take care of your cards and they will take care of you. Um, I think that's just when you first get your deck, what you can do to um, like prepare it reading tarot getting started questions to ask your tarot questions not to ask your tarot okay um what does that say money would be great am i going to win the lottery all oh, right yeah <laughs> yeah that's kind of not gonna really go well um shuffle the deck you can do this a few different ways well that's you know to each person single card three card spread uh diy as you may have guessed reading tarot is less about rules than it's about you and your cards if you want to lay down a line of 12 cards corresponding to each month of the upcoming year or jumble the whole deck together and read them randomly to accelerate the wisdom gained from accepting the seeing the what seeming seeming randomness of the universe we call that one the chance or well, the chaos spread okay chaos theory i'm guessing um go for it uh so yeah that's just you know a bit of an idea of how to use the cards turning cards once you once you have your cards spread turn them over horizontally going left and right blah blah <laughs> sorry um the major arcana so the magician oh, okay so yep right so it's tiny tiny messages for the major how's the minor where's oh we've got the same size for the minors as well okay and they end in all right so pentacles is not the one that it ends in swords is okay so they might not be in the same order um have a quick look at this chibi tarot Shuffle your deck, start gathering insight. Using the deck spreads and layouts. Oh, this is a little more. Three card, five card. Another five card. Celtic cross. The horseshoe, okay. Looking like a pyramid, but anyway. Um, the major arcana. Oh, that's it. We're right into it. Um, yeah. Okay. Three of cups. Okay, it's the same thing. It does have a bit of an upright and reverse. Oh, hang on. These are in a different... Ooh. Oh, okay. The name of it. Okay. Because I was like, hang on, that's a different language I can't read. Um, but no. It's, I'm, I'm not going to say the names because um, I'm going to get them wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I was going to, sorry, I'm back and forward. Uh, what was I going to read here? A very little history. Okay, um, 
tarot cards have been around for centuries. Oh, it's about tarot. Oh, wait a minute. Da 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 da. three hundred years. Um, Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. It's Crowley. Um. Oh, okay, I thought that it was going to have a bit of a history of the Kauai universe kind of idea. Maybe this does. Uh, da -da -da -da. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to skim through to see if it's telling anything that you don't already know. Um not really well <laughs> okay all right well sorry about that so anyway i don't know again as i said oh there's this too sometimes that happens i don't know if you can see there's a bit of a difference with the color the coloring like it's ever so slightly different you might not pick up on the camera but it's a little bluey or bluish on that one more gray on that one and they kind of split so maybe in manufacturing they came through differently or something um so yeah i've been wanting to get both these decks so i figured yeah we'll have a look at both um so anyway let's get going on this <laughs> um okay so we've got two of the full don't know if it's picking it up they're both really cute though so I think they're adorable. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. Yeah, the card sizing is almost exactly the same size. They're quite thin too. Um, yeah, so they're both quite thin. I think slightly this one might be slightly thicker and a little firmer, but not by a lot. So yeah, so we've got the fall here. This one's taking a more traditional look like with the little dog um, this one has got a few different things going on so we'll keep going um, and we've got the magician at least the majors are going to be um, the same how cute <laughs> so adorable I like this too. This is some, um, this sort of reminds me of anime, this one, more so than this. But so far I'm liking both of them. But the, yeah, the cardstock in itself is quite thin. So um, we'll see how, it, how I get to shuffle them later. Uh, did we swap them? Yes, we did. <laughs> Sorry. High Priestess. How cute. Oh, really adorable. And we've got the Empress. Yeah, but these these ones are really um have an anime feel to me. I mean it's all animation as it were, but the, these seem to have a bit more of an anime feel to two things which I don't mind at all um yeah love Jabba Jabba they're both very cute in different ways but yeah oh. <laughs> now this is the kind of emperor you want to come across I mean how adorable is that there's nothing imposing about him whatsoever and he seems happy enough too that that, that um, not imposing as it were. Um, Hierophant. Rainbow. How cute. Oh, sorry, I knocked it. The lovers. Chariot. Oh, 
again if if it's a bit fuzzy i'm really sorry oh, little frog and butterflies oh. and look the little cats with the chariot i was wondering if the strength card would be the same you know how they change them sometimes from what is it between eight or eleven i think it's better that if strength is eight and eleven are the justice card because um justice is all about you know one way or another it's got to do with relationships of some sort and i think the number 11 for the justice card is um yeah, you know that's my opinion but i think it's um, more fitting to have number 11 as the justice card um but yeah so this is the hermit oh they're both so adorable look oh he's got a, a goatee <laughs> I knew I'd like all the images on both of these and I, I'm hoping, I haven't yet seen if this one will, but I'm hoping neither of them, well, I know this one's not going to be a pip. Um, yeah. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, look at the little fox. How cute. And they're all cute. They're on the Ferris wheel. Oh, I love elephants. Here we go. We've got Justice. And the hermit. Oh, they're both. No, wait, that's an owl, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. I almost thought for a second they were both bats, but one's a bat and one's an owl. Oh. Now we've got an imposing card. Death. <laughs> I think I'd prefer. I mean, uh, there's nothing scary about that, even that part. That skeleton is still cute. And there's little ones in their ship. I think they're little frogs there too. How cute. This guy's imposing. Then we have temperance. The devil. Oh, the devil is some... Um, in a feminine guise in this one. And this one, it's a bat. How cute though. Oh. I'm, I'm really liking both decks. I know they're somewhat different style images, but they're both from the, like, they're both um, relating to the kawaii. Um, theme. The tower. Oh, how cute is that depiction of a tower? And look, so, I, I can't decide really. I like both of them, quite frankly. If I had to decide, I'd, I want to keep both of them, which I'm going to, obviously. Um, but yeah. Then we've got the star. How cute. Then the moon. See, that's not scary at all. That one, it's just she's got the moon on her forehead, intuition. This one's got the lobster, so this one's more sticking to the right of weight, at, more than that one, like, if you know what I mean. Then we've got the sun. Oh, they're so cute, both of them. I hope you can see it because I don't know if I'm holding it up properly or... The ring light is a bit um, blazing in the middle of the picture or something. I don't know. Um, so now we've got judgment. Well, there's the horn there and there's the horn there. Look at that. That was a unicorn. And then the world. We've got a whale with the world. And a whole bunch of different things around. And she's holding the world. 
See, yeah, because then they're both bringing different things, like letting you work with your intuition in different ways. So, oh, we're starting with wands, so at least we've got that in the same. So we're starting with wands. We've got ace. Isn't that a, what they call it, the sloth animal? He's clinging to the wand. See, yeah. I mean, different things are picking. Oh, here we go. We've got an Australian theme coming up. <laughs> mm. The koala, the two of wands. And she's holding the two wands. Then we, oops, and we've got three of wands. Four of wands. Sorry, that was my stomach. I don't know if you heard that or not. Um, five. Yeah, I, I, I think all the images are adorable. And we've got the unicorn back with six of wands. Sorry for shaking it again. Then we've got eight. And they're just, they're both cute in their different ways. Yeah. Nine of wands. Yeah, he's, he's struggling there. It seems to be. But the Ten of Wands is the one that's usually, yeah. So they're both, um, they're both showing that they're carrying a big load. Um, page of Wands. Oh, yeah, we're still in Wands, of course. Probably need to speed up so the um, video doesn't run out. Ooh. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Then we've got our King of Wands. Uh, oh, we've got coins here and cups here, so now we're changing. So we'll have a look where coins happens to turn up. Oh, this one's right at the end. Do, 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 do. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so... Sorry, I was hoping they were in the same um, order, but they're not. Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles. Two. Sorry if I'm going to start rushing. <laughs> but for some reason I was drawn to do both of them together, so we're going with it. <laughs> Carousel on a cake by the look of it. How cute. That's, oh no, that's three, yeah. For a second I thought that was five. I thought, oh, but it wasn't. Okay, so we've got four of pentacles. Holding the gifts. See, that's 
something as well, holding on to gifts and not sharing them. Um, and this one's holding on to the coins. Now we've got five of the pentacles and both of them are cold. He's on his own. There's two there. Six of coins. Seven. Waiting for it to bloom or it's just blooming. Eight. No. <laughs> no cute. Nine. Oh, look, she looks quite well to do. <laughs> and we've got another elephant. This time it's in this deck. Ten. Oh, he's on his own. Whereas, because that's usually his and that happy family. The ten of pentacles and ten of cups are pretty much both kind of happy family. This one's got a few different little animals in it. Yeah, so uh page of pentacles. Yeah. I'd i usually put a um what are they called? I'm thinking the word samurai, but they they named something else, aren't they? But I, I would normally put this guy with um swords. Page of Pentacles anyway. So then we've got um Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're, oh, they're so adorable, these images. <coughs> um, King of Pentacles. He's got a gold um, helmet. <coughs> Excuse me. Ace of Cups. Oh, okay. So we've got the cups. We just had to move the pentacles around, I think. Um, so we're into the cups. Two of Cups, yeah. What if, I don't know, they're on their own. Maybe they're inviting us to be the second person. Um, three of Cups, she's holding all the Cups. Hmm, yeah. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Interesting, only one of them's fallen over. Interesting. This guy's got three that's fallen over. Yeah. Then we've got six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Okay, there's it's seven, but there's nothing in the Cups. These ones have different things. Eight of Cups, the walking away or swimming away. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. 
Again, that's one person, whereas there's different ones here picked in family. Um, I think it's not always the case that there's always family in each of them. I don't know, it depends on the deck, I guess. Uh, Page of Cups. <laughs> He's looking pretty sure of himself. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that little animal in the cup there. I think it's a fish. King of Cups, riding the wave with, you know, no problem whatsoever. Then we're into the swords. Ace of swords. Two. Yeah, they've both pretty much kept the same, similar with the three of swords. It's pretty obvious what that's about. <laughs> <clears throat> Four of Swords. Oh, yeah, again, they've both got exactly the same way of taking a rest. Five of Swords. Oh, Lord. They're crying and their swords are dropped. It's only one victor there. I mean, it is a hollow victory per se, but there's no one else in that image. It's just the swords then you pretty much know what six of swords is um, all about and she looks like she's on her own paddling as well on her own and there's a couple of I think the yeah, because they're facing that way. They're travelling away from them because they don't look too happy and they're moving on. Seven of Swords. And another difficult card, ten. Ten of swords. And we've got page of swords. Knight of swords. And that this one's got the unicorn horse, but this guy is on their own. Not really looking like there's a lot of movement, which is interesting. Queen of Swords. <laughs> She's got a sword at the ready. They both do. And King of Swords. Okay, so I'm not sure how with how big it is if I'll be able to properly shuffle if it's too thick. I think it might be too thick. How bendy is it? I might not be able to get this done well. Oh, it's okay. Um, 
but yeah it's a bit difficult because of how thick it is we'll see how this one goes because that's probably about the same thickness um, oh no i think it's a bit thinner than i might be wrong actually i think um yeah i think this was the thinner one wasn't it yeah that's shuffling a bit easier okay even though it's also 78 cards um, we'll see what comes through with each one and then we'll check each of their books to see what it says in the um, guidebook for the card. Can we get a, can we get a card to read, please? Whoop. Oh, sugar. Well, we've got two of them. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. We've got a few. I might just take the first two who were both reversed um, four of wands two of swords okay so let's see if we can get something from this deck as well okay. To do it on the lengthways instead of um, sideways. It's a little too wide for my hands. Okay, can we get a card from this deck, please? What can you tell us from this one? Any messages? This one wants to be shuffled longer. Page of Swords and is there any others? Oh, there's too many. <laughs> How are we going with time at all? Okay, that looks like it. Okay, well, I'm not sure which card I saw, but it must have flicked back. Anyway, so we have Page of Swords, Four of Wands, and Two of Swords reversed. Both reversed. Um, I think it went that way. Since I pulled them that way, I think I'll go this way. So Four of Wands usually is about uh, upright. It's about... Um, well, celebration, isn't it? But we've got it in reverse. Accomplishments are worth celebrating no matter how minuscule or short-lived they may be. Wow, okay. Then two of swords, but it's reversed. So we're looking for swords, cups. Swords, four, oh, no, it was two. Well, they're shortened to the point, aren't they? Um, the messages, two of swords reversed. Be conscious of those who wear masks with malicious intent, for they relish in the harm of others through dupl duplicity and disloyalty. Wow, okay. All right, so it's, um, okay. So, it's, yeah, so it's, um, kind of the opposite I guess in a way and then we've got page of swords over here page of swords focus oh, sorry focus and direction may not be your strong suit at the moment new ideas possibilities dreams and desires keep your head buzzing you can try to harness that flow or follow it where it takes you. Okay. I wonder if we can get one more from the Kawhi. Just because we got two from each. Oh. 
this one. The tower. Oh my goodness. I'm really not getting easy cards today. Well, the tower isn't necessarily difficult um, because you can still have control yourself. It's like with, um, well, yeah, we've got a, um, we've just recently had an eclipse. Or it was a partial eclipse, but it's still stronger than a general new moon. And we'll be having a full moon eclipse um where am I up to? I wasn't looking. Uh, we'll be having a full moon eclipse very soon as well. Where are you? The tower. Um, sudden disruption may be on the way. What kind of upheavals have you had recently? How did you bounce back? Draw on that strength to face the change that is coming without Fear or hesitation, yeah, because um, in one of Radley Valentine's decks, it actually, I remember it said um, the change can, can be less of a drama if you hold the reins and make the changes yourself. And that's pretty much the same with, um, especially in eclipse season, because you really, I, you really don't want to be hit with an eclipse um without being prepared pretty much because it's it's quite a, a tough ride um yeah so anyway we will move them across so i'm i'm pretty happy with that and i don't mind that it's um that they've got minimal messages for for um the cards um but hopefully you've liked this and it hasn't been too all over the place. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, just be on your guard, um, perhaps in a way, just or be a little bit discerning of people, especially if you don't know them that well, maybe. Um, but, yeah, I think... I think I think um, if if you do like we were saying, um, like I was saying, I guess um, about the eclipse season, it's not it's not easy in eclipse, um, especially if you if you're taken unawares, so to speak. Um, yeah, so I think yeah, it's just telling us to be aware of others. Um, it's obviously not everyone. We don't have to be sitting in fear. Um, but again, it's like this said, you don't have to be fearing the change, but, um, don't let others, um, be controlling or, you know, yeah, be aware of if someone hasn't got very good motivations, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think of these decks, but, um, I'm going to you know what, I'm going to turn this upright and I'm going to make it that way. So because we can, we can deal with the eclipses and end up um, celebrating the changes we want and everything like that. So I, I want to end on a nice note. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, let me know what you think of these decks. Um, yeah, and I'll also um, put in the description box the other Kawaii Tarot um, um, if you're interested in getting that or well, finding out how where to get that from as well, um, even though I didn't show it. But, yeah, I'll put it in the description box as well because I popped it in. Um, okay, um, and take care and until um, next time, bye for now.